so today we have to see clock this is one of the most important topic so we know that there are there are the commonly asked questions on clock so this is a very important to topic so please watch carefully in this video what i will do is we just have to see the basic concepts of clock we have to see the basic concepts on clock and how it works how it works that's what we have to see in the clock so please watch it carefully what i'm going to tell you we know that in clock there are three kinds of hands are there one is the minute hand which is the longest one is the minute hand again the small one is the hour hand and again there is a second hand also second hand also but note that among these three hands minute hand the hour hand are very important we just don't have to consider the second hand this is not that much of important all the questions we just have to work on the minute hand and the hour hand we just don't have to consider the second hand if someone ask you what is the angle between the hands at the 7:30 what does it mean by what is the angle between the hands at that time the hands means only of the minute hand and the hour hand so these are very important the hands means only we just have to consider the minute hand and the hour hand we just don't have to consider the second hand so let's see as we know in one hour in one minute in one hour the hour hand will go ahead by 30 degree in one hour the hour hand go ahead by 30 degree in one minute the hour hand go ahead only by 1 by 2 degree similarly in one hour the minute hand will go ahead as we know in one hour there are the 60 minutes and in one hour the minute hand complete this total whole round it's complete is one circulation means what it complete the 360 degree angle so 360 in one hour the minute hand go ahead by 360 degree it comes again at the starting point and in one minute the hour the minute hand go ahead by 60 degree as simple as that it is very important in one hour the hour hand go ahead by 30 degree and in one minute the hour hand go ahead by 1 by 2 degree in one hour the minute hand as we know it completes its one round means 360 degree and in one minute the minute hand go ahead by 60 degree now if someone ask you the question after how much time hands of clock meet if someone ask you after how much time hands of clock meet means after how much time this minute hand and hour hand are going to meet now let's see if i say there is a circular track and whose circumference is the 120 meter means the total distance from this to the this point is 120 meter and there is the a who is running at a speed of 60 meter per second and there is also another person b who is running at a speed of the 20 meter per second and we have to find out after how much time the a and b will meet together we know that here in 1 second as the speed is meter per second in 1 second there is a difference of this is running at the speed of the 60 meter per second and b is running at the speed of the 20 meter per second so in 1 second 60 minus 20 40 second difference is there as we know in 1 second the a will cover the 60 seconds and in 1 second the b will cover only only 20 second and the difference is 40 second so in 1 second there is a difference of 40 second so in how many seconds the a will cover a and b will cover the difference of 120 meter 120 meter sorry this is a meter in 1 second there is a 40 meter difference so in how many second there will be a difference of 120 meter so we know that we just have to do the cross multiplication here so 120 into 1 120 Upon forty, forty-three is R one twenty. So after three seconds on this circular track, A and B will meet together. As simple as that. For this, but what we have to find out here is after how much time hands of clock meet. After how much time hands of clock meet. As we have seen here, in one minute, minute hand goes six degree, and the hour hand goes ahead by one by two degree. So in one minute. There is a difference of this six. It goes ahead by six, and our hand goes ahead by one by two. Means there is a difference of six minus one by two. So, in one minute, there is a difference of six twos are twelve minus ones ones are one. Twelve minus one, eleven by two. In one minute, there is a difference of eleven by two. So, in how many minutes 
देर देर इज अ डिफरेंस ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सॉरी दिस इज इन डिग्री बिकॉज वी हैव टेकन इट इन डिग्री सो सिक्स माइनस वन बाय टू इन वन मिनट देर इज अ डिफरेंस ऑफ इलेवन बाय टू डिग्री सो इन हाउ मेनी मिनट्स इट विल कवर द डिफरेंस ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री बिकॉज क्लॉक इज अ सर्क्युलर वी नो दैट सो द टोटल एंगल इज थ्री सिक्सटी सो इन वन मिनट इफ इट कवर टू वन बाय टू डिग्री देर इज अ डिफरेंस देर इन हाउ मेनी मिनट देर इज अ डिफरेंस ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सो हियर थ्री सिक्सटी इन टू वन अपॉन दिस एलेवन बाय टू सो अगेन दिस थ्री सिक्सटी इन टू वन दिस टू विल कम हियर अपॉन एलेवन सो थ्री सिक्सटी टू जर सेवेंटी टू सो सेवन ट्वेंटी अपॉन एलेवन मिनट्स मीन्स दिस इज द एन्सर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन आफ्टर हाउ मच टाइम हैंड्स ऑफ क्लॉक मीट आफ्टर सेवन ट्वेंटी अपॉन एलेवन मिनट हैंड्स ऑफ क्लॉक मीट वी कैन राइट दिस एज एंसर वी नो दैट एलेवन सिक्स जर सिक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स रिमेनिंग जर सिक्स सो सिक्स जीरो एलेवन फाइव जर फिफ्टी फाइव रिमेनिंग फाइव अपन एलेवन सो यू कैन से दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस टू इज डिफरेंट आफ्टर सेवन ट्वेंटी अपन एलेवन मिनट्स दे विल मीट टूगेदर और आफ्टर सिक्सटी फाइव फाइव अपन एलेवन मिनट्स द मिनट हैंड एंड द हवर हैंड मीट टूगेदर टू क्लियर विट वॉट आर डी डी प्लीज लिसन टू केयर पुरी तो क्वेश्चन होता आफ्टर हाउ मच टाइम हैंड्स ऑफ क्लॉक मेक एज वी नो दैट इन वन अवर अवर हैंड गोज अहिड बाय थर्टी डेज एंड इन वन मिनट द अवर हैंड गो अहिड बाय वन बाय टू डेज Similarly, in one hour the minute hand, we know that it completes it one round. Means in one hour the minute hand goes ahead by 360 degree, and in one minute the a uh, minute hand goes ahead by 60 degree. So, if in one minute there is a difference of six, it is going ahead by six degree, and it is going ahead by one by two degree. Means in one minute there is a difference of six minus one by two degree. Means six two zero twelve minus one eleven by twelve two. So in one minute there is a difference of eleven by two degree. So in how many minutes it will cover the difference of the 360 degree as सर्कल क्लॉक इज अ टोटल सर्कल सो टोटल एंगल इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सो इन हाउ मेनी मिनट्स इट विल कवर द डिफरेंस ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सो आई गॉट सेवन ट्वेंटी ऑपन एलेवन मीन्स आफ्टर सेवन ट्वेंटी ऑपन एलेवन और सिक्सटी फाइव फाइव ऑपन एलेवन मिनट्स द हैंड्स ऑफ क्लॉक मीन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दिस इज द कॉमनली आस्क क्वेश्चन इन एक्जाम आफ्टर हाउ मच टाइम द हैंड्स ऑफ क्लॉक मीट देन द एंसर विल बी आफ्टर सेवन ट्वेंटी अपॉन एलेवन मिनट्स द हैंड्स ऑफ क्लॉक मीट सो ना लेस इफ द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस फाइंड इन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इन अ डे The hands of clock meet. And in how many times in a day the hands of clock meet? This is a very commonly asked question. Please listen it carefully. If the question is and in how many times in a day the hands of clock meet, we know that after seven twenty upon eleven minutes the hands of clock meet for one time. After seven twenty upon eleven minutes, the hands of clock means what? The minute hand and the hour hand. As I told you, we don't have to consider the second hand. The second hand. So after seven twenty upon eleven minutes. They meet for the one time, but we have to find out how many times in a whole day. Whole day means what? This in terms of minutes. In whole day there are the twenty-four hours. Each hour contains the sixty seconds, sixty minutes. Sorry. So we have to find out it. After seven twenty upon eleven, they meet for the one time. So after in the whole day, how many times they will meet together? As simple as that. We just have to do the cross multiplication here. So this seven twenty upon eleven, which we have to find out this. And is equal to this twenty four into sixty into one time into one. So this twenty four into sixty into one. And this question mark is equal to this seven twenty upon eleven will go here. So eleven upon seven twenty. Again, we know that twenty four threes are seventy two. So it will become the thirty. So thirty twos are sixty. So eleven twos are twenty two. Means what? This is the question answer. For the twenty-two times, the dance of clock meets in a whole day. To clear it, what I did here is the question was find in how many times in a day the dance of clock meet. As we know that after seven twenty upon eleven minutes they meet for the one time. But now we have to find out how many times in a whole day. Whole day contains twenty-four hours. We know that. So whole day contains twenty-four hours. We know that. So seven twenty upon eleven minutes they meet for the first time, one time. So in whole day means what? Twenty-four hours, sixty minutes. Each hour contains sixty minutes. How many times? So I got here twenty-two times. So this is the answer. Ratta maro. Twenty-two times in a day, the hands of clock meets in a whole day. In a total day, they meet for the twenty-two times. So this is the answer. And it is a commonly asked question in an exam. Now there is a, one of the most important formula in clock, which is theta is equal to thirty h. Minus 11 by 2 m. This is a very important formula. I will tell you how it comes into use. Now here, let's see. 
the meaning of each term here here the theta means angle this h means hour and this m meaning is minute at simple and now how this formula come into use rectal law is formula ka theta is equal to 30 h minus 11 by 2 m theta means angle h means hour and m means minutes now if someone ask you find the angle between minute hand and hour hand at 7:30 you have to find out the angle now already we know, know that the formula is theta is equal to 30 h minus 11 by 2 m now we have to find out the angle so angle is equal to 30 into hour is 7 so take 7 minus 11 by 2 into m is minutes 30 so 30 Two fifteens are thirty. Seven threes are twenty-one. So two ten minus fifteen ones are fifteen. Fifteen ones are fifteen plus one sixteen. So one sixty-five. So total forty-five degree. So angle between the mirror hand and our hand at seven thirty is forty-five degree. As simple as that. In this way, this formula come into use. So this is a very important formula. Lots of questions are there in exams on this formula. So please write down again. Theta is equal to thirty h minus seven by two m. we can find the angle between the minute hand and hour hand now here the most important thing is if theta comes negative if theta comes negative minus 45 if it comes what does it mean by the negative sign indicates here the negative indicates minute hand is ahead of hour hand means in a clock If the hour hand is here, then the minute hand will be here. Means minute hand is ahead of hour hand. And if the positive angle comes, then the positive indicates hour hand is ahead of minute hand. Means what? If the positive sign comes, then it, it simply means hour hand is ahead than the minute hand. As simple as that. So this is all about this formula. Theta is equal to thirty h minus eleven by two m. Now we have to see how to read the time. Now if it is written as seven forty, we know that it is seven forty. But how it can be read in another way also? You can read it as forty minutes past seven o'clock. It 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 means only seven forty. You can read it as forty minutes past seven o'clock also, or you can read it also twenty minutes. Two eight o'clock also. So this is what we have to read the time. So in the question, if someone asks you at forty minutes past seven o'clock, it simply means at seven forty. If someone asks you twenty minutes to eight o'clock, means how much time? It means seven forty. So the meaning of these three sentences is same: seven forty, forty minutes past seven o'clock, also twenty minutes to eight o'clock. So this is how we have to read the time. so this is what we have learned in the video after every 720 upon 11 minutes hands up clock make hands up clock means the minute hand and hour hand we just have to consider two hands here we don't have to consider the second hand means after 720 upon 11 minutes hands up clock made after every 720 upon 11 minutes hands up clock made and for 22 times in a day hands up clock made in the whole day in 24 hours 60 minutes 22 times in a day the hands up clock made the third important thing is this formula theta is equal to 30h minus 11 by 2m so theta means angle h is hour and m is minute and we have seen that how to read the time also if it is written as 7:40 we can read it as 40 minutes past 7 o'clock or 20 minutes to 8 o'clock also and we have seen that in one hour the hour hand goes ahead by 30 degree And in one minute, the hour hand goes ahead by one by two degree. And in one hour, the minute hand goes ahead by three sixty degree. As we know that in one hour, the minute hand completes one round, means three sixty degree it travels in one hour. And in one minute, the minute hand goes ahead by sixty degree. So this is what we have learned in this video. Thank you.